another player on the opposite wing that we have to talk about is Mark O'Brien. I mean, we've again we sound like a broken record, Alex, because I know we've um, uh, Richard said a lot of stuff on Twitter about um, O'Brien, which I totally agree with. But today, the fact his his tracking back and his running and he looked absolutely knackered when he came off, but he was he was everything that was right about Leicester. But he, he I won't say he epitomised Leicester because they all epitomised Leicester at some points. Kevin is <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it. Kevin is yeah. the epitome of what Leicester City is. Mm-hmm. He is. What he pretty much is like what the heart and soul is. He he doesn't give up, um, and you know I could say that about almost every player it seems like on this team right now. But but Albrighton is one of those players that really you know he's been there during the hard times and he's really emerged, you know, and he's fought for his spot. And you know a lot of people didn't expect him to to be a starter this year. And there was a lot of um, there was a lot of um, negative uh, feedback from when he always was starting games at the start of the season being like, why is Albrighton starting? You know, he's not, you know, we picked up under for this reason, you know, good luck under trying to get into this, into this, into the starting roster. And, you know, we never thought we'd actually say that. Um, He, you know, and just the way he's been playing of late too, um, you know, beforehand he would, you know, he would run down the wing and then he would just boot the ball and cross it. You know, really wouldn't look. He would just, you know, hope for the best, you know, hopefully Vardy's there, you know, Barnes or someone is there to, you know, head it in or something. You know, he's kind of like Barnes in this way, in his own way, where he, he's really taken his time, um, you know, not only on the offensive part but uh, aspect of it, but also on the defensive. Um, he's been running up and down the pitch like, like a madman. Um, and, you know, hats off to him today because no wonder he was so exhausted. Uh, guy was running back and forth, you know. He just wouldn't stop. He doesn't have quit in him. Um, yeah, I got nothing bad to say about him. And, you know, especially from someone, you know, personally, I was, uh, I was ripping on him. I, you know, I rip on him. I, I was ripping on him on Twitter a few times, you know, and I think one of the, the thing that really changed me was, um, was one of the uh, Europa League games. Um, and, you know, it was halftime, you know, 60 minutes. And I'm like, what, why is Albrighton still on? And then I ended up having to go out. Um and he was the one that ended up crossing the ball in like the dire last minutes to tie the game. Um, I believe that's, I can't remember what game it was, but I just remember Twitter just being like, say what now? Say what? <laughs> I'll write in what? And, you know, really since then I was like, okay, let's take a step back and let's watch him perform. You know, let's not be critical. Let's really focus in on it. And he's still got an assist. I think he's got an assist or a goal in his, I can't remember how many games, but he's, yeah. Even today, he's going under the radar, um, Rich, again. Hmm. It's, it's incredible, isn't it? I just, I, you know what made me laugh, though? You've just said that he looks exhausted when he comes off the pitch. He looks exhausted when he walks out onto the pitch. He, <laughs> he's, he's just, he comes out of the tunnel from the side, he just looks exhausted. I don't know how he does it. I don't know whether, like, it's hilarious, but... Um, I think, I mean, I don't know whether you count the, the you know, I, a lot of people won't count the corner one as a as an assist because, you know, he tried to pass it to Harvard Barnes, Harvard Barnes missed it. Personally, I think it will get counted as an assist just because, you know, it was heading in that direction anyway. Um, but obviously he did get the other assist and he should have had an assist because James Justin should have put the ball in the net from the header and he missed it. You know, fair play, it was a, he, you could tell he was trying to, you know, but what a pinpoint accurate cross. You know, to do that, and then there was also I think he put um, Vardy through one. I might be wrong on that, um, but no, he 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 was incredible. He was absolutely um, he he goes under the radar, and you know, there's a load of fans that just still to this day give him, you know, um, and um, and I just I just don't get it. Like I I understand that he's not a flair player. He's not a Mares. He's not gonna you know do anything incredible, and you know, but. He, his work rate, you know, p- people say, um, oh, if, imagine if, um, you know, so-and-so was on the pitch and we were like, well, no, we wouldn't win mm-hmm. 4-0. We'd probably lose 3-1 because, you know, he's not there in that defensive aspect and they can go right unders on the pitch. So, um, you know, don't don't worry. Just go down the left-hand side. No one's going to, you know, be, oh, sorry, the right-hand side. He's, no one's going to do anything. So you'll be fine. Um, so for me, he is absolutely integral to our victories. Uh, 